Welcome to the shop. Or, well, it's the garage, really. Shops. At the shop. Uh, I wanted to do a video today. A viewer called me today and asked uh, a bunch of questions about their McGregor and how uh, different things about it. So I want to uh, help them out. And so we'll touch on some things. One of the things was the outboard motor um, and what I use. I have a, uh, oh, it's, this is a mess, but this is my 7.5 Johnson uh, Sill Master, and it has an extra long shaft. This is a 8 horse Mercury long shaft. And you can see there's like a 5 inch difference there, because they're both sitting on the ground. Now we're, while we're down here, look at this. This is a extra fin that I put on. I only put it on one side. You can see I did it on that one too. This is just uh, HDPE that I found someplace. It was that wide. I cut it and just shaped it with the uh, the sander and popper did it on. <clears throat> and what that does is it protects the prop. If you look straight, this is looking straight down. You can't see the prop. But there's the prop there so it uh, it protects the prop from the rudder hitting it because the rudder would uh, hit the prop on all outboard motors with the McGregor's because the outboard is so close to the the rudder so that's one way I've been doing it and it's worked fine for years um, but most recently in the last year I found another thing Here's that other thing. This is just set here as a prop. Uh, it's a hydrofoil. This one is a Stingray, I think. I found it on Kijiji for 25 bucks. It's going to work fine uh, on my uh, Mercury. So I have another one of these on my other Evinrude motor, and it makes a big difference uh, compared to these ones. This also stops the pitching when you're in the the boat is pitching back and forth. It slows it down a bit, but it also gives you a little more bite in the water. And the added bonus, you can't hit the uh, hit the uh, rudder against the motor. Downside is when you when you turn the the rudder, you do hit this, uh, so it reduces your turning radius unless you turn the motor. So I end up turning the motor all the time. If it's a big, like a, a tight turn in a marina, you're, you're gonna have to turn the, the motor uh, to, to get where you want to go. It works really well, this, uh, this fin. Here's the, the fin on my Evinrude 9.9, .9 extra long shaft. And it's a, I don't know, what this model is but it works really well too it's not quite as wide as the other one but still you hit it and it's it doesn't hurt the it doesn't hurt the rudder um, but and it also doesn't hurt the prop which is what you want those things not to touch so these things go on pretty easily uh, four bolts this one is actually too big for my uh, purposes so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it in half and make it a little smaller. I think it's too big anyways. I haven't really played with the fitment of it yet, but uh, it does look like it's a, a little too too wide. So I'll just cut it in half. Uh, look, they've got handy marks on the back where you can cut it and make it smaller. I wonder if that's actually what those are for. Uh, so that's that's how I avoid my rudder hitting my outboard uh, prop when I'm uh, motoring, and I do a lot of motoring actually. Uh, when you're <laughs> if you're up in the the uh, the eastern part of Georgian Bay and you're on the small craft route, you're gonna have to motor a lot because there's a lot of spots. You unless you're tacking all the time. You're gonna you're gonna need to motor. Okay, uh, the next thing is my bug screen, 
and I found my drawings. So I'll take a picture of that and uh, put that up. Look, I'm in a boat. Um, my bug screen. From the drawings, um, this is what I've done. Put Velcro all along this edge on the front and all along here. And I just used one inch Velcro. I went down here on the inside here, down around here, under, underneath this, and across. Oh, actually, no. On here, I didn't go underneath. I stuck it right on here. Um, in the future, I would go underneath, uh, just for a little better fitment. So the next iteration will probably be going underneath. So, went all the way around with Velcro. Uh, you'll see the links on the, uh, photos. And on the top part here, I, I measured things with the the pop top up as high as it goes in this position. You can see this bar here. I've got Velcro here, Velcro here, Velcro here. So I went Velcro right across here and down the sides, down to here. I'm pretty sure now that I went all the way down to here. Let's see. 50, 30, 29. Yeah, I did go all the way down to here. So from there all the way to here. And I stopped there. Not on here, but on there. Just stopped. Now the piece goes back just like the same shape as the pop top cover. So it goes down on an angle. And it goes down on an angle and goes into this. down right to here so that was oh, I got got 27 and a half inches I think I've got it as 29 on my plans here yeah 29 so that's it's kind of a, a make it as you go thing uh, I originally cut the er, the piece to go from here all the way back and to here uh, for the top, so 30, 29, and then added the, the rest of it to go down, which it's on the, the plans. And then I cut the pieces for the sides. And the sides, it just happens that, yeah, the sides, if you buy a, a roll of the screening that's uh, four foot, you'll get two pieces of enough to do your, your sides, because this is only, uh, two foot is, is a little more than you need, but you do need that little bit extra. Uh, so I cut my sides, attached my sides, attach some velcro so I could kind of tack it up and then I went along and uh, and pinned the velcro in along the uh, underneath so my sides were sewn up to all the way down to, to here and uh, at that time I didn't have the front piece finished because I made a mistake in measuring I, Originally wanted it to go all the way around, but uh, it turns out now I've got a window in the front that I could peel down, which actually helps a lot because now I've got access to all the space in the front here when the bug net's on. So it comes down, uh, sorry, it comes down from here and it wraps around here, um, but mine has a, an opening here. I think it's nine inches wide. I can un velcro it and reach out and get into this space because the the 
the pop top goes right up to the front of the the uh, pop top so it gives you all that space to put stuff um, and it's a great viewing place for viewing the mosquitoes because they're they just love going to visit okay um I think that's it uh, check my videos for when I'm making this uh, it was back in June end of June uh, of 2020 anyways that's uh, that's it that's my pop top uh, kind of described hopefully it uh, you can do it um, again I cut the the top piece that goes down first um, and kind of I measured it out on the table or laid it out on the table because this is narrower here and and left a couple inches extra so that uh, it can wrap around and I could trim anything afterwards and that's what I did after I put the uh, the velcro on as I trimmed the uh, excess screen so uh, anyways that's, uh, that's how you do it it's not too hard if I can do it hey anybody can okay well I gotta get out of here this is a frozen boat Those are fish. They're hanging out here because it's warmer. They're called gizzard shad. <clears throat> That's my beautiful wife. Looking at them. You want to swim with them? <laughs> you do, don't you? No. Oh. So these are native, they're gizzard shad. Uh, and, you know, they just live in the river. And they like warm water, so they're here. This is a uh, outlet for storm sewer of the city. And we're, all, we're downtown along the river. There's Black Friars Bridge. That's a pile of fish, guys. A pretty popular thing. The Upper Thames Conservation has put up a sign talking about them. Neat fish. That's not very bright. Does that help? No. Oh, well. We're on our way to go get some pizza. I thought that was for that thing. No. Okay. So we're going to get pizza. Yay. Dog. <laughs> I've been looking at cute dog photos a lot lately. Right, you shouldn't do that. Why? Because they'll be picking up poop someday. Dog poop. Because we're going to yeah. get a dog. No, we're not. Twice a day. You better really like dogs if you're going to pick up dog poop twice a day. Can you get another cat? Uh, no, we can't get another cat. You haven't worn out the one we got. You don't play with her enough. You wear her Every out. time I try to play with her, she ends up biting my hand off. Need a longer stick. <laughs> Pizza. Wings. Happy little girl. <laughs> Hot sauce. Mm. Thanks for watching. Eat your pizza when it's hot. Wear a mask. Be nice to people. Wash your hands.